So we have learned what the two different types of clauses are. We've learned about simple and compound sentences. Um, so now it's time to move on to complex sentences. So just a quick little review. What is an independent clause? Hopefully, you remember that it's a group of words with a subject and a predicate, and that it can stand alone. And a dependent clause, it's a group of words with a subject and predicate, begins with a subordinating conjunction, cannot stand alone, it depends on another clause. So, um, a simple sentence is just one independent clause by itself. A simple sentence is the same thing as an independent clause. For example, Katniss is very brave. I love to play GTA. These are both simple sentences. Compound sentence, as we've already learned, is two or more sometimes independent clauses joined by a comma and coordinating conjunction. Remember that coordinating conjunctions are the fanboys, or by a semicolon. For example, Katniss volunteered for the Hunger Games and she won. I implored my mom for a PlayStation 4, but she said no. These are both compound sentences two subjects, two predicates in each sentence. Now, a complex sentence is one or more dependent clause plus one independent clause. So it's one of each type of clause. Although I like The Hunger Games, my favorite movies are the Divergent series. So we have a dependent clause, although I like The Hunger Games, and an independent clause. My favorite movies are the Divergent series. So, this first part of the sentence could not stand alone. It depends on the independent clause that follows it. This makes it a complex sentence. Another example. I don't get enough sleep because I play video games all night. So, the dependent clause does not have to come first. And finally, I can't read my book until I finish my homework. Please make sure you write all three of these examples down. It would even be a good idea to label the different um, clauses. So if you need to, go ahead and pause the video here so that you make sure you get these examples written down. So now, coordinating conjunctions, which are our fanboys, versus subordinating conjunctions, which um, we like to call swabbies. Um, we have learned about subordinating conjunctions when we were talking about the dependent clauses, um, but now we're looking at them within sentences. So we know that coordinating conjunctions connect independent clauses, coordinating conjunctions to complete thoughts. Subordinating conjunctions begin dependent clauses. So, for example, I listened to my music and I did my homework. So, we have a fanboy joining two independent clauses. I listened to music while I did my homework. So, now we have a subordinated conjunction, a swabby, um, beginning that dependent clause in the second part of the sentence. Now, what about commas? In a compound sentence, you always have a comma before the coordinating conjunction. Always. Always, always. I went to Homer Haven, comma, and I went to the basketball game. Now, in a complex sentence, it's a little bit more complex because you only use a comma when the subordinate clause comes first. Until I bring my grades up, comma, I have to go to Homer and Haven. And even when you read the sentence, you'll notice that there's a little bit of a pause after the dependent clause. Until I bring my grades up, I have to go to Homer and Haven. Now, if we flip the clauses, 
I have to go to Homework Haven until I bring my grades up. There's no pause, and you do not need a comma. The subordinating conjunction in the middle is enough. So let's do a little, little bit of practice. I do want you to write these in your notebooks. Um, it's good practice. It helps cement it into your brain a little bit better. So what you're going to do, you're going to write each sentence and underline the independent clause and circle the dependent clause. Based on that, decide whether each sentence is simple, compound, or complex. When the freezing wind roared down the chimney, I grabbed a big fluffy blanket. John and Milo laughed all the way to the popcorn stand. Jessica will vacuum the living room and Oliver will clean the kitchen. The cheerleaders jumped and shouted during the football game. Now, I want you to write these in your notebook following the directions in yellow. Um, and then also make sure that you answer the questions on the Ed puzzle because that will tell you whether or not um, you did it correctly in your notebook. So, just really quick as like a little exit ticket as we finish up these notes. What is a simple sentence? What is a compound sentence? And what is a complex sentence? Um, if you have any questions, please let me know and make sure that you check in your notes with me when you are all finished. See you later.